Welcome everybody to uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Reshaft of Destruction. I love you. Yeah. Uh, Reshaft of Destruction, Yu-Gi-Oh! for the Game Boy Advance. You so know what, what's sad? Oh, what, what is this game, you may ask? Well, this game actually t it has a, a full-blown anime-style storyline that feels like it was taken straight out of the anime. That he takes drought. Yeah, I messed up. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can say you peed over the name. Uh, anyway, um, this uh, it takes place a after the Battle City tournament, but before um, the Arikaka season. Oh, the free. Basically, the free Egyptian Kong cards for some reason turned to stone, and we don't know why. Okay. So, this is before the motorcycle gang thing. That will be our villain, by the way. Okay. Go ahead, Jovo. Oh. Yeah, well, now I put this monster card in here, and voila! I'm good to go. Pedro, who's adjusting your deck? Coming along. Uh, no. Perfect. You sure about that? Let the expert tell you. One and only Joey Wheeler, check it out. Uh, it's cool to be confident about your skills. But you still have lots to work on this deck. Spe before saying, it's any coming good. To you, coming from you, it's saying a lot. <laughs> hey, don't feel bad about it. You can construct an awesome deck, Pedro. Alright guys, I'm gonna totally rock with this. Deck today. <laughs> Man, I can't wait for the Duel Express train to come. It's been too long since I've dueled in a tournament. So we're gonna have a train level? Pedro yes. and Yugi and I are gonna own this doiny. Uh... Mm, let's go for it. Yeah, right. but don't think I'm gonna let you win. Pedro, and that goes double for Yugi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Speaking of who, why isn't Yugi here with yet? That's a good point, actually. Oh god, that's a screamed Pokemon. Oh man, this stinks. Look at the time already. He's late! Come on, Yugi. How can you even think about being late on a day like this? If he doesn't get it soon, we'll miss the duel, Express. And he was the one who promised that the three of us were gonna take the train together. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and that, Yugi. Uh, Dover doesn't even have to do much, really. He lives in New York State. <laughs> don't believe the stereotypes, though. Oh, very don't, don't, blame, don't blame us, blame four what kids. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Pedro, Whoa. everything's horrible! Everything's yeah, horrible. Your, your, your portrait is horrible! Yugi! Holy fuck shit! You're <laughs> looking even more feminine than usual! My other self, the Millennium Puzzle! My puzzle is gone, along with the spirit inside! Again... When I woke up this morning... <laughs> it was gone! Yugi, what is this, like, the third time something bad's <laughs> happened to that puzzle? I... What am I supposed to do? Stop acting like a big baby, man! Hey, we can't waste time standing here and talking. Standing on the Pedro, edge. what do you think we should do? Stand here and talk. Let's go look for it. Okay then, that's what we're gonna do. You got it, Yugi? I won't stop until I find my dearest friend. I promise. Taya? I'm cutting on you, uh, Pedro. Yes, your, your best still friend is a puzzle. Personality as your best friend. I feel very Pedro, weird. what are you still doing here? <laughs> Weren't the three of you taking the Duel Express? <gasps> what? The Millennium Puzzle is gone? Stop the presses. No. <laughs> but how? How did that happen? How could this happen to- Oh! Forgive me, you. but I overheard your conversation. So you're j so you're stalking us? How nice. Well, it's a Shizu, would Let you expect guess. any you're less? You're still here to give Gabe very vague hints. So it seems the Millennium Puzzle disappeared. But I have feared the most is coming to fruition. Oh boy, here we go. I thought you feared... Never mind. No, no, remember, Please. Java, this is after the Battle City Tournament. I need your help. Okay. Please uh -huh. help. 
I see you're puzzled, but th that is only ha, ha, to be ha, expected. Ha, ha. Get it? Puzzled? Don't <laughs> worry, Weebs. Every puzzle is an answer. Please bear with me and listen to my words. And now, prepare yourself okay. for a barrage of exposition! <laughs> I have come to ask you, Duelist, for your help. You must save the world from Reshef, a dark being. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> these villain names! Big battle went poster to the I understand this is sudden and confusing. You got that but... right! <laughs> oh, but the world is in grave peril. Gee, that, gee, that almost never happens in Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> almost. Only strong duelists such as yourselves can save us. Yes, you can defeat Reshev the Dark Bane by playing a children's card game with it. And before you ask to oh, yes, that's how we defeat him. Yay! Well, I don't see any other way. <laughs> you really way expecting you anything that, else? That, that, yeah, from Yu-Gi-Oh. All the Millennium items have disappeared. It is most likely due to Reshev's resurrection. I mean, I mean, I know it sounds weird uh, coming from me, but uh, if it was 5Ds, I would understand the final boss being a motorcycle chase, at least. <laughs> <laughs> on the Egyptian card cards. So basically, um, we had to go on a quest to revive the Egyptian card cards. Which released Reshev, the dark being, into the world. All these entities sealed inside things that people do not defeat. Don't <laughs> <laughs> stole the mighty power of the Egyptian god cards. Not just Yu-Gi-Oh! Every single piece of media has these people who didn't took their responsibility to just sealed something. Even the Power Rangers movie is guilty of that. <laughs> Apparently these cards were sealed away at this point, but the ritual drained their well, power. Well actually, now that I think I'm... Well, I'm actually, our interest movie in the '90s one. There's a recording. The new one doesn't come out yet. Well, actually, then, to be well, actually, now that I think about it, there's a lot of that in, in Power Rangers. Now that I think about it, mm. blah, blah 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 blah. We have to defeat the Wishaw the Dark Bane because if we don't, the world will be destroyed, and uh, the car the execution card cards yeah, are essential. Are absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> However, since the Egyptian card cards have been turned to stone, they no longer have power. Kind of redundant when you said that you uh, know whatever, they were trained. Blue is, is still a shitty card anyway. <laughs> Only the Millennium items can ref can return them to their former glory. The items have been scattered all over the world for Great, no so reason. I guess we also have to worry about Bakura at some point. Uh, so, uh, for actually, who? surprisingly, not uh, to. Do oh. we ever figure out who resurrected this guy? In actually, the first we place? actually we do. It was that villain we saw in the intro. That ah. guy in the armor? I'm counting on you to- No, 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 that grotesque thing, that was Reshef. Uh, that guy with uh, an eye patch, oh, that's the villain. Oh, with a monocle, okay. Well, actually, it's an eye patch. If left unchecked, the Dark Being's strength will keep growing. Of course. Yes. The world sure. will be shrouded in perpetual Yes, yes, the flame <laughs> will fade and only Dark will remain, I get it. Uh... Please help save the world. With I'm, the card so game. I'm sorry, guys. I cannot find the identity of this plot. Where did it go? But we were supposed to go on a train. Then we have to search for Yugi's Millennium Puzzle. Don't you hate it when you have, have, have to save the world? <laughs> Don't you hate it when you're about to go on a trip and uh, some crazy chick uh, approaches you on the street and says, "Oh, by the way, the Dark Pink has been released. Also, could you, could you play a children's card game to defeat it?" He knows this new kid. Since you said I'm a powerful duelist, basically, I can't use. my, my guess is in okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give you some context on this game later, too, as soon as uh, we get a little bit of a break from the exposition. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. First, the Millennium items must be recovered. As a descendant of a clan of gravekeepers, I can sense the faint pulses of the Millennium items. Uh, how convenient! Yeah. Wow. You must first make your way to the e Egypt. It yes, is right. this is the game where we're going to go all around the world, which means we're going to go to China, we're going to go to Italy, we're going to go to... Wait, what? Yes, we are. Uh, in fact, um... Do they, go the U do they go to the UK? We'll go to Italy in the next part. <laughs> I have no one to turn to except for you. Hey, do they go to the UK in this game? Uh, I don't remember. I don't think so. Oh. Go ahead. Watson, go to Portugal over here. I leave the fate of the world in your hands. So I will stand here and do nothing. Okay, okay so... If... You're going, Pedro? So in the that case, just make sure to get a lucky draw. Is isn't, isn't tagging along? No. 
Well, I know she has a shitty deck, but come on. Anyway, uh, basically, to, uh, to give some context, this game is actually a sequel to Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards, also on the Game Boy Advance. The, the concept of Sacred Cards was to basically retell the story of the Battle City season, uh, except they added in a signed protagonist that's supposed to represent you. So basically, you're the third friend in the group. Uh, and oh, so it's kind of the, um, the same for the... Um... GX. All right, for the sake. Game. All right, for the, the, the what you saw so me. Why what, what you saw this what, game what, before the other one. What you saw right? Uh, because there's because we're, since we're doing commentaries on the anime anyway, and the anime follows the plot to the letter, it would be redundant of us to do the game anyway. We'll just be doing the same shit again. I figure it would be much more interesting to do a game that actually has an original plot. I guess. Tr tr trust me, if you've seen the anime, you don't need to play Secret Cards. You already, it's literally the Battle City season. But Paige, you're telling me it wouldn't be cool to see your own self insert totally do all that cool stuff in the game. Eh. Granted, I enjoyed that in GX Talk Force because uh, the dissatisfaction of seeing Jade and Yugi actually losing in a straight <laughs> battle is priceless. Yeah, I'm gonna be quite honest with his deck. Hey guys, guess what? In order to board the Duel Express, we have to prove ourselves in a children's card game. Well, wow. Pedro, it. it we tackle the series that makes you do anything, including boarding on things and proving your identity with puzzles, so it's, this is nothing new. So yeah, you get a secret card. cards. It's pretty okay, much sorry. equivalent to puzzles in the Leighton universe. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> uh, anyway... Hey, Joe. You win. Yeah, basically, so gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have Yugi as my partner, yeah. because Joey has a shit deck, so... Oh, so you have tag duos? Uh, tag duos, but I'm the, I, it's just me playing the, the, the duel against my opponent, and the other duel is done... Um, uh, off screen. Anyway, basically, the thing about Sacred Card, obviously, the concept of Sacred Card is to literally put you yourself in the universe of Yu Gi Oh! with the characters right there. Like, like you're basically the third friend. And you, I know what you're asking, what about Tristan and Taya? Well, Tristan and Taya are pretty much just extras in, in, this, in these games, uh, which I'm fine with because honestly, I never really cared for those two characters anyway. Um. <sighs> Uh, any oh, but Pedro, uh, Taya is a love uh, interest. This is what I don't know how long I have to get uh, another drink. None of my characters are in this part, are they? Mm, I don't think so. No. Uh, go, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I'll go and get my drink. Right back. All right. Here's how the game works. Uh, this game actually does not follow the the, the real Yu-Gi-Oh card game like uh, most Yu-Gi-Oh video games do. This one actually tries to create kind of a hybrid between the real rules and the Duelist Kingdom Season 1 rules. Where you can... Um, here's, an here's a thing, for example. It's kind of hard to explain, but here's, a, for example, how tributing works. You can tribute monsters at any time, even if you don't summon uh, uh, any stronger monsters. Uh, however, you still have to tribute monsters in order. Like, let's, let's say, for example, I've got uh, Blue Eyes Red Dragon on my hand. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to go into the, my field and uh, literally pick two cards or two monsters specifically, and pick the tribute option. Uh, and by that, they will literally be sacrificed and sent to the graveyard. After that, I can be I can put the wise, Blood Eyes Dragon on the field. However, I, I can choose not to do that and just pass my turn, and then those two tributes will have gone for nothing. So obviously don't wow. do so obviously don't do that. However, if for some reason you need to make room for monsters, you can just tribute monsters for no reason. So <laughs> So yeah, the rules of this particular version of the card game are pretty weird. But I'll get more into detail later. Gotta end it, Yugi. That duel barely lasted a second. Yep. On the other hand, Pedro, you had me worried. What are you talking about? I want my floor with this guy. <laughs> are you serious, Joey? I couldn't afford to waste any time. I have to find the spirit right away. But Pedro's duel was pretty impressive. Thank you, Yugi. Let's keep this up, guys. Bravo! Please feel free to board the train. I can't go on before Yugi, though. Boy, it must suck for the kid who has an errand to run and does not tell you, panic. All right. <laughs> I found them. Aren't you dead? That chin. <laughs> the Duel Express is reserved for Duelists only. Alright, by the way, you earlier saw me load a state. That's because I loaded a state where... See, the thing, of, the thing, the way this game works... Don't worry, jo Jova, this, 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 this dialogue... You're playing works. this off of the Virtual Console, aren't you? No, actually, there's no Virtual Console release of this Hang game. On. 
what, what is it? If you're a, um, if you're not a duelist and you just want to use the express, what, what else are you gonna do? Well, actually, the, 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 the duel express is just for duels, so it's not like if. And also, I'm pretty sure positive dwebs that was the ticket for passengers only. Ugh. Anyway, what I was saying was. Um, the way this game works is kind of more like, kind of like an RPG where you have two things. One, you have your your dual capacity, or, or, or rather, sorry, the deck capacity. What's the deck capacity? Um, basically, how many cards? The amount of cards you can have in your deck. Uh, not so much that. Basically, every card yes. every card costs a certain am amount of deck capacity to put on your deck. Let, let, let's say, for example, I have a, de a deck with uh, a thousand points of deck capacity. Okay. And let's say I have uh, 40 cards, all of them with 10, uh, with the required 10 capacity uh, points to use. That means that when I put all 40 cards, I will spend 400 of those a thousand uh, capacity points. You get, you get what I mean now? Got I it. see, I see, I see. It's sort of like with Sonic Battle and allowing you to pick certain skills based on your total amount of skill points. Exactly. Weird thing to do, though, since Yu-Gi-Oh! literally is being the yeah. case of a maximum of three. What that means is, oh, th th not just that, Jova. There's also a duelist level, as, as they mentioned just now, actually. Basically, it what... What, so, let's say, for, for example, in order to put the Blue Eyes White Dragon on your deck, for example, you have to have a really high duelist level. How do you get higher duelist level and higher deck capacities? Well, you just have to beat as many NPCs as you want. So yeah, you so have this is so, yeah, this is then, so yeah, this is literally, so yeah, this is literally, this is literally Yu-Gi-Oh! The Grinding Game. Uh, the yeah, only, you have to beat them. The only way to beat this game is to grind the fuck out of it by beating NPCs over and over and over. So for the sake of uh, this play for not taking a hundred years to complete, I've... Uh, you see me early load a state, that's because I loaded a save state where I already have the maximum deck capacity and do this level that already is possible to me, just so I can make my job easier because this game... It, basically, this is a game that can you can that uh, you would be able to complete in like seven hours if it wasn't for the excessive amount of. I'm pretty eighty percent of this game's playtime is grinding. It's a weird thing too, because like, oh, I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, okay, okay, okay. I can get you know maybe giving you rewards for leveling up and letting you do certain things like. I don't know, maybe certain abilities, you know, story-wise or stuff that would allow you to, like, say, get a lucky draw or something. But literally limiting what cards you can get based on your level, eh, except see, for maybe, see, look like, at that. you know, my deck probably... Look at that, Jovan Jonas. My deck capacity increased by one by defeating this particular NPC. So you can probably guess it takes a while to get to a high level. <laughs> What's the average deck capacity of a card? Okay, to be fair, it depends on how strong the opponent is. Oh, go ahead. You go no fervor. Seriously, mm -hmm. we killed you. It's raping time. <laughs> My name is Panic. <laughs> and I have the awesome <laughs> chin the of Jill and Titans will never be yours. Oh what crap. <laughs> Looks like we entered a tunnel. You know what that means. <laughs> And darkness gives me power. It's time to duo. Don't challenge me in the dark. The dark is where I shine. All right. So whenever we're in a dark place, uh, the field turns into a dark field, meaning dark monsters have a uh, field advantage. Field. There are no field cards in this version of the game. Instead, the field depends on which particular place in the game you are. Which uh, that's another thing from the Duel's Kingdom arc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Darkness. They, they took a basic. Yeah, the the game the the card game plays very much a hybrid between the real card game that we have, you know, uh, on the real world right here when we're by the cards and shit, and uh, the Duelist Kingdom season one rules. But it's an interesting uh, take that it definitely makes this game stand out for uh, uh, from the others. Um, however, uh, as you can probably guess, not everybody is keen on these rules because the rules of this game make no sense. And yeah. uh, it, it's also, I remember that card. It, it didn't have. It wasn't a normal monster. It, it didn't have that much of attack power. 
Well, actually, Teo, it does. Um, so the thing, uh, actually, you bring up a good thing, Teo. Dark Assailant, okay, for those who don't know, the, the Dark Assailant monster card is a monster that has 2,000 attack points and 2,000 defense points, and it's also yeah. and it's also level 4. The deal is, that monster has a special ability where its attack and defense points decrease on a certain circumstance that I forgot which one it was, sorry. Uh, how many cards you hold. Yeah, how many cards you hold. However, Teo, here's the thing. Most effect monsters became normal monsters in this game. So as, really? you, so as you can guess, it's incredibly easy to abuse the shit out of these uh, monsters. Because it didn't change the monster's levels to accommodate for the fact that they have no, no effects anymore. So basically the Dark Ascendant is a fucking game-breaking card in this, in this game. <laughs> I'll be back. You're dead again. Also, the, also, also, I'm, also. Uh, for kids, I'll never be dead. Also, being an mm -hmm. RPG, this game is also. Oh, oh okay. Go ahead, Oops. Ho, ho, ho! You wish to challenge me? Actually, Papa, the, show him you're the best. Well, actually, the the, the dad has a better. But yes, dear. Put him in his place. Oh, fucking. So now, me. so now we're finding a rich guy who wants to impress his wife and daughter. Um. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what I was saying was. Uh, you might have noticed how after we beat a duo, it says we wa you win a hundred domino. What's domino? That's th this game's money. This game's gill, if you will. Mm -hmm. Odd. It, you you use it to buy cards in the card shop, basically, and that's all it, it, it and that's all it is. Any of you, it's funny you mentioned four kids because like when it came to Paddock, actually, that's one of the few deaths that they kept in because he's clearly burned alive, and even Yamayuki himself says that he's trapped himself in his own flames. <laughs> well, then again, uh, Drova, they kept uh, the be the very first couple of episodes where Yugi mind crushes uh, Kai, but even though it has no effects uh, in the later <laughs> episodes, yeah. but whatever. I mean, invisible guns aside, they only really started going insane when we had stuff like the Dark Energy. Ah, uh, Monster Reborn, the good times where you weren't banned for no reason whatsoever. Oh yeah, is Monster Reborn finally we go again? I swear to god, the flip-flops no, between No, so here's the stupid thing. They banned Monster Reborn, but they unbanned Black Hole for some reason. Yeah, Black Hole now is, you can have two in your deck, actually. I know because I, I know because what I... What logic is wait, that? I, what? I, I know because I have Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duos, and that game is literally following the current rules of the game, and has all the cards that have been made up until this point, so I know. Yeah. Uh, they also unbanned the Envoy cards as they, well. They, in fact, that's actually one of the main reasons why I appreciate du Legacy of the Duelist on the PS4 and Xbox One so much. You only have to follow the limit, the limitation, the, the, the limited cards rules when you're playing online. When you're playing offline on the actual campaign modes, you're allowed to ignore limitations. That, so yeah. that, that's pretty cool. I like that because... Yeah. Uh, because no such luck in the mobile version, though. Even in the campaign, you're limited by the uh, card restrictions. There's a mobile version of Legacy of the yeah, Duelist? Yeah, the one I'm playing. Is it, is it literally called Legacy of the Duelist? No, it's called. Let me oh, check. Because remember, what? because remember, it's Legacy. Because remember, Legacy of the Duelist is it literally the same. A dual generation, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual generation. Does it have like the story mode for every single Yu-Gi-Oh! series? It's not the story mode, but you can basically a challenge gauntlet through <laughs> the mass majority of the cast of each season, excluding the most recent one. It stops with that, sadly. Does it have cutscenes with text? No. Uh, no, no, no. And it's not like Legacy of the Duelist. Uh, but the thing is, yeah, 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 that's one of my reasons why I like Legacy of the Duelist. Because we can ignore bullshit limitations and shit and just make our and just build the decks the way we remember them. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay, so finally we reached our destination. So let's. Uh, oh! Egyptian, oh! <laughs> the run chased after me! Oh. <laughs> okay. No time for challenging to a children's card game, More I like guess. More like you chased after them or something? <laughs> Yugi got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did the dark, did the dark big, big guy uh... come this way? Sure. Oh, yeah. oh wait, was... Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, yes. You ran down the stairs here. No, I am was... the guy. Is that your avatar speaking? Alright, uh, this... you be the... Uh, Alright, Dwibs. Alright, Dwibs, you're that guy, Dwibs. No, 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 the other one. No, no, no. The oh, other no. one. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. He died again? <laughs> yes, let's watch all of them walk over one at a time. <laughs> uh, You've come for the Millennium Necklace. 
And before no, you ask, no, that's not shoddy. Pyramid. Before you well, ask, that's not shoddy. Fine. Uh, the Millennium Necklace is yours. Oh, of course it's not. Oh. It's wearing black instead of... It is my duty to protect a Millennium item. For I am a Millennium Guardian! Are you now? You must prove yourself to me in a duel. Yes. Quick, <laughs> slipping chaos to emperor see if dragon. You are worthy of a millennium item. You will only get the millennium necklace if you can pass my challenge. You know, for, a, for uh, you know, for a serious guardian who has a divine will, you sure so, you sure uh, talk very loudly. Quick, somebody slip in a few Chaos Emperor Air Dragon, Envoys of the End, he'll be a synth to Welcome be. to a character fan voiced by Dwibs. Hmm. It's not too far off from the originals. But yeah, like I said, I'm using a save state that I have where I already have a, a pre-made deck, just for the sake of making the job easier for me, because this game... This game is... I like the game, I, I mean... It, the I only mean, issue you see with the game seems to be the fact that you literally have to grind just to get a proper deck. Yeah, and... It, I mean, I don't, mind, I don't mind grinding for cards because, well, that's kind of the whole point of card games. But yeah. grinding for, but when you add in duelist level points and deck capacity points, you're not really adding more depth to the gameplay. You're just putting in more busy work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like well, choose one or the other. Either you have to grind for cards or you have to grind for deck points. But don't make it for both. No, not just both. Uh, remember, free. We have to grind for duelist level. Deck capacity and the cards and, and the cards themselves. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing dual level pretty much works like how a Pokemon won't listen to you if it's been traded with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, for, like, for, like, 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 for example, um, I don't know the exact number. Let's pretend for a moment. But let's pretend for a moment that uh, the Blue Eyes White Dragon requires uh, a deck, a deck, a duelist level of like a thousand or something. That means I have to have um, either a thousand or more of a higher duelist level in order to put Blue Eyes White Dragon on my deck. Otherwise, I have to keep it in my trunk. And so, do effect so the do, do the monsters that are actually still effects still do their effects proper? Uh, some some monsters kept their effects. Others had their effects changed, but most of that monsters became normal monsters. So once again, Dark Elf um, the, as a normal also, monster. Also, yeah. Also, yeah. I, I know summon it's Obelisk, the Tormentor. I know it's technically gameplay, but Jesus, oh, 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 oh. yeah, totally. The Egyptian god cards have lost their power. Hold on, let me this. I have found the end of the effect of Oblast of Tormentor. Every monster on the foe's field will be destroyed, and the opponent will be hit with 4,000 life points of damage. Wait, wow. when did Obelisk have that effect? I thought Obelisk was like the he one doesn't. He, he, do he doesn't, Joe, but the, the, the game designers made it up. Yeah. I mean, seriously, it's Slifer and Raw that Wow, have my deck effect. capacity increased by three! Wow. Hey. You still are still clumsy and unrefined. Well, fuck you, I want my- so, yeah. Shut up! But deep within you, I sense- I sense a faint glimmer of hope. You have proven yourself. Take it, it is yours. I do not deserve it. I do not know how to spell sense. What is this? The Millennium Necklace. I don't know, you tell me. What the fuck? And now we're in the Sonic 2017. <laughs> God is not pleased with you, Yami. Well, and now we're gonna, and, and now we're gonna pull a Sonic 06, guys. Hold on. The image I just saw. Damn it, Yugi, you lost me again. Pedro, you saw it too, didn't you? Uh, yes. No. We shaft the dark being will destroy the world. Of course. What did Jesus said really was? Of course! I don't think she really that... has any reason to lie. Well, not just that, but I'll bring that up. And my other self. But why? Okay, yeah. allow me, allow me. First, uh, there's, like like Joba just pointed out, uh, Ishizu was telling the truth. Well, first of all, how can you tell from that one like, three-second uh, hallucination that how does that confirm what Ishizu said? It doesn't really confirm anything. Second, so now Yugi is. Oh, never mind. Go ahead, Jova. Oh, Saito uh, and. Uh, all right, so all right. Dwebs, trying to bring in your annoying kid voice from Okuba. Okay. So the merry band of losers know what's really going on. And guess what, Teo? Kaiba doesn't believe in the Rashef thing. Ishizu visited my big brother. 
What oh. a surprise. Oh my god. She wanted him to get the Egyptian god cards back. Wow, actually, Dwebs, the voice you're giving Mokuba right now is actually much more closer to the Portuguese dub of Mokuba rather than the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, 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 I'll show you, I'll show you Portuguese Mokuba at some point. <laughs> Only the most powerful duelist is worthy of wielding two things. And that duelist is me. Of course you are. I will recover the Egyptian guard card. You see what I you, you see? You see what I mean? I wish share the. I bet you guys are happy that my big pro is gonna help you out. I huh? get the I get the feeling the writers of the anime wrote this game because it's it's Mokuba. fucking it's fucking exact. <laughs> what what is it? Say, it's oh? just it's just as absurd. I have no intention of teaming up with these clowns. Yes, you don't. Big brother. Shut up, Mokuba. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Listen up, you fools. A real duelist doesn't need help from a bunch of oh. cheerleaders. Yeah, never mind those same cheerleaders saved your ass. Multiple All times. you should count on is your own strength. You guys are so weak that none of you can survive. Alone. In the dark. And you expect me to team up with you losers? Don't make me laugh. Yeah, kind of, but just as much as you left when your soul and mind got crushed. Let's go, Mokuba. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking that mind crush may have still done brain, Yugi. Well, goodbye then. Goodbye, mate. Well, let's move on then. Um, uh, Joey, you okay there? Uh, I... <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Pedro, basically... were you just trying to go into a locked door there? You okay there, Blue Cap? It's, it's one of those things where, for some reason, I, I couldn't get in. Anyway, uh, what I was saying was... Oh, there you go. Back to Clock Tower Square. Alrighty, she's the time for... Go, what, more exposition. What you got? I am glad that you have returned safely. Well, it wasn't exactly a dangerous trip. I see that you have obtained the Millennium Necklace. Yes. Unfortunately, it is not sufficient. Hmm. A single Millennium item does not have enough power. Not enough to restore the Egyptian God cards from... from? Stone. Stone. The next Millennium item... Yes. Oh, All right, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be this guy. <clears throat> what is this present I'm feeling? The present of stupid clothes. I am the puppeteer. What does he have on his mouth? I want to something about a master Shavesky's plans and duel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this game may have broken my fellow. Oh, okay, just for a bit. Please stand by for additional reasons. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Okay, okay. There's so, something about the Oh picture. god! Uh, Peito, leave! <laughs> oh god! So, um, what is it? Every time I say, oh, oh, somebody says, somebody says what the fuck? Oh god, I'm uh, sweating! Oh, oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna try uh, this out. Uh, Puppets are uh, doomed! Uh, uh, okay, uh, I'm, I think I'm good. This puppeteer is starting to cost a fuck. Kneel before the puppeteer room! Uh, 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 Seriously, uh, what the fuck on me? That's so stupid even for poor kids, Sandra. Don't you see, guys? Uh, all Konami wanted to do Actually, tell you, to uh, be fair, we cannot blame poor kids on this one. They didn't even lo work in the local session of the game or anything. Yeah. Uh, God. Oh my god. Oof. Alright. I think I can get through um, This guy just storms in and we have to defeat him. Yes. Uh, so incredibly easy to Alright, we're about to- Well, oh, don't get all cocky just because you beat me. This is an invitation for a challenge from Master Sol Chavalski. Yes, that's our villain. Ma Ch Sol Chavalski. Sol Chavalski. Take a while, take a while, take a while, guess who he is, to who he is. Uh, the guy what? with the... How are you gonna do it? This card, it's a video card. No, 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 from his appearance that we're gonna see now. Try sending it in your dual disc, Pedro. 
I do not it. take a good look at it. <laughs> what the? Bravo! I say bravissimo! Uh. Congratulations! <laughs> And yes, before and yes, uh, I guess that both my agents have failed me. So who do you think it is? <laughs> I have a feeling you guys uh, will be Pegasus? there. Pegasus. You go. Side. So yeah, Pegasus has turned evil again. But why fret when I can make a game out of this? He's probably been brainwashed. Here yeah. are the rules. Let's see you return turn the Egyptian god cards back from stone. And bring them to my castle before time runs out. But since we're in JRPG logic, uh, the Lord of Darkness will just stay there and uh, we can wait for you. If you don't don't you know, time is on our side, literally. What happens to the world? I don't care what happens to the world. How does that sound? He resurrected Risha, the dark being. Yeah, he, he has nothing better to do on Saturday nights, so... Yeah. Brainwashed. I mean, he obviously doesn't have his millennium. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Thank you, game. I remember what I was going to say. I love how Yugi suddenly, for some reason, suspects that uh, Yami might have something to do with Reshef. Uh, ex uh, yeah. The fact that he's standing on front of a burning sea, that totally means he's connected to Reshef. It's not like he could be. It's yeah. like Sonic 06. Yeah. That, 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 that vision of Sonic is the only thing Silver got. Yeah. The second millennium item must be found so that we can restore the Egyptian God cards. It is the only way we can be defeat Sol Chavowski. That's such a stupid name. But you have to, but you have to admit, Teo, that puppeteer of Doom Sprite, uh, that's the funniest thing you've seen in a while. You yeah, have to admit. I, yeah, I have Adrian, to admit. please find the next Millennium <laughs> item. Yeah, no. sure, why not? Thank you. The uh. next Millennium item... Go to Domino Pierre. Okay. The Millennium item should be aboard the cruise ship. Just make sure not to drop any of your most valuable cards in the sea again. Yeah. Uh, all right, everybody. In the next part, we will go indeed to the Domino Pier. And after that, Italy! Yay. So, see you then. Yay.